Hey, welcome or welcome back. This is Jerry here. Um, I, I had high hopes this December that I would be con consistent and post every Friday in the month of December. I was trying to make a schedule or try to plan things out and it did not happen. Um, this month actually started off strong and then I got sick. <laughs> I ended up in the hospital. So um, this video is not about that, but my reading had plummeted where I was not able to read as much and focus and grasp what I was reading. So really I didn't read much, if not anything. Um, I'm currently reading one of my favorite books, Joy in the Morning. Um, I've read this book several times, many times. So it's helping me remember what I'm reading and get into some type of reading routine. Um, but I'm not here for that. I'm here to share kind of like my January reading plans or reading wishes or what I hope to read in the month of January. Um, because of the illness or diagnosis or disorder or disease or whatever you want to call it, that actually, I actually got answers to what is going on. So um, I'm not ready to share it really yet. Some, some of my family and close, close, close friends know, but um, it's a lot of neurological issues um, and a lot of pain and yeah, there are some new changes and adaptations that I have to deal with. So um, yeah, but my reading has, um, well, is going to be affected by this. So I do uh, subscribe or follow a, a book uh, booktube channel, Oshina Reads It All, and she and another booktuber are doing a like ring into the new year readathon, which is great to help me get back into reading, get on a somewhat of a schedule, actually plan out what I want to read. I am a bit of a mood reader. I tend to like, I don't like trying to make a TBR or a list to read because I tend to just pick any book that I'm in the mood for and read it. But I know for right now I need to <laughs> My mind needs schedules, so I figured this would be a great thing to join to help me make plans to read. And their readathon is called Read Into the New Year, and I will link, link all of the information below and her channel as well. And of course, it's based on the new year, like new year resolutions and different things people hope to do in the new year. And the prompts are as follows with the readathon. Lose weight, read a book under 250 pages, eat healthy where food is a major part of the story, drink more water, water on the cover or in the title, social media detox, a book set in the past, make a new friend, a new to you author, exercise more, a book in a series, and save money, a book you didn't pay for. So I was going to try and find one book or two books um, for the readathon. Um, this goes from January 1st to January 7th, which is like seven days. So technically it would be like read one book a day. But because my little mind sometimes doesn't want to work <laughs> and my little brain sometimes doesn't want to work, I decided I was hoping to find one or two books that I can spread out over seven days, but I didn't. I found three. Um, which goes to all seven prompts. And um, I know that they are very like, make it really loose. Don't, you know, if you have to bend the rules a little bit, this is all in fun. So I did bend it a little bit um, to fit the books that I want to read or intend to read. So the books are for the book. Well, the book is The Pursuit of the Purp sorry, The Purpose of Man. I already read The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. And I put this 
for prompt one, which is Lose Weight, a book under 250 pages. And this book is 186 pages. I put it for prompt two, Eat Healthy, where food is a major part of the story. And this is where I bent the prompts a little bit because there, there really isn't any food or there's no food on the cover. But I am a Christian and I believe that the Bible and Jesus, actually I believe the Bible is food or nourish, nourishment for our soul. I believe Jesus is the bread of life. So I put the, I put that because this is about, of course, about Jesus. And it does include um, Bible scriptures and spiritual information for spiritual growth. And I, that's food nourishment to my soul and to my spirit. So I put that as to eat healthy. And the next prompt I use it for exercise more, a book in a series. I kind of bent that a little bit. And it's not in a series, but this book, it's three books in one volume. So I figured that is in a like collection of books. I already read The Pursuit of God. And I did read The Purpose of Man. I read a little bit. You can see like my annotations and like different things that I noted, but I didn't finish it. So I was like, I like to try and read some type of um, Christian faith base, something to help start the year in a good mindset. Our church does do prayer and fasting and reading the Bible in a year, but we're focused heavily on prayer and fasting the beginning of um, January. So I figure what a way to use some of my fasting time, my prayer time, my quiet time to read this um, this book, The Purpose of Man. And I love A.W. Tozer. Of course, his writing is a little bit dated, but when I read The Pursuit of God, I mean, I devoured it. It um, really hit home. So I know The Purpose of Man is about worship and um I'm a big worshiper. I love, I love worshiping God. I love just spending time with him. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back and reading it and dive in. So my next, the next book I have, and this is for two, two prompts. This is The Accidental Pinup by Danielle Jackson. And I use this for prompts, drink more water, water on the cover or in the title, and if you can see, there is water in the background on the cover. And I used it for Make a New Friend, a New to You Author. I saw this in the library and um, I was like, I love the cover. I love the, the, the girl on the cover. She's really pretty. She's really cute. And it does talk about um, like... I guess the 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 main character is a photographer, but she's plus size, and I guess they're trying to put her from being a behind the camera into front of the camera modeling, and um, there is a lot of I guess talk about bo body positivity, um, that type of thing, chemistry, humor, joy, and I'm all about happiness and. I hope it's kind of clean. I hope it's not too, mm, but I'm pretty sure it looks interesting. Things are heating up behind the camera. So let's see what happens in the story. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot about photography. I mean, I'm not into like modeling and stuff, but you know, I'm a plus size girl and I like the the representation of it. So we shall see. The last book I have to cover, the last two prompts, is The Sister Wise by no Noemi Reagan. And I saw this I saw this author by a book I got from a free library sale. And yes, it is about two Jewish sisters who grew, grew up in a strict ultra orthodox family and there is just i guess some things that happen in their family 
there's like you know just of course i'm not sure if you know about orthodox but they are very strict they follow very strict rules um and so one of the sisters begins to i'm reading the inside i didn't start it but she begins a secret life and her parents find out and so i'm pretty sure there's probably a test of betrayal test of loyalty and you know family issues that might bring a family apart or the issues might bring them closer together and i use these the two prompts for social media detox a book a book set in the past and save money a book i didn't pay for which i got it from the library so i love different cultures this one is jewish culture and i thought this would be a great book and yeah, I'm excited. I hope all these three books have an audio book with it because I noticed that if I'm listening to a book and following along on the story, I retain more. Um, or if I can't focus on the words in the book, then I can just listen to the audio book. But that's so far for that readathon. I am following not following i am going to try and participate um in the bookish princess i'll leave her channel along her magical book club um they're reading the hobbit and i bought this book ooh, a while ago i think they're on the summer or something it's one of those days that I st I got I started back driving after an appointment. I went to Barnes and Nobles because I got a gift card, and I bought The Hobbit um, because I want to read more. I want to read more books. Well, not more books, but I want to start reading books by Tolkien because I love C.S. Lewis, and C.S. Lewis and Tolkien were good friends. So I did buy this book. I did not. I started it, but I didn't finish it. But I saw that sh they're going to read it together. So hopefully hopefully i get to read this as well as i want to read the lord of the rings because my pastor talks about that book in many of his sermons and every time he talks about it, i'm like i really want to read this book plus i want to watch all of the movies plus i want to watch the show on amazon so you know there's a method to my madness on why i want to read these books so yes i'm going to be reading that that is four books if I figure if I can read, hopefully, three books in the week or one book a week, I'll be good. My goal is to read 12 books in 2023. Now, I know I can beat that, but because of just my medical issues and things like that, my reading has suffered. And reading is my, my, my hobby. It's my go-to. It's my escape. Um, so I hope that I can at least read a little bit to help ease a lot of the burdens. So, yes, Mets is my January idea of what I want to read. And pardon if you hear movement or it's noise. It's my son going up and down the steps. I would uh, say subscribe to his channel. But he is very, 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 very 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 um uh yeah he's he's a little i guess self-conscious about his his music channel which is actually really really good but that is it i do not want to take more on this video and i guess once i feel a little, a little bit more comfortable talking about my medical diagnosis um i might share a little bit um but yes, I'm doing good. I'm staying healthy. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And if you find any time during your day, I hope you pick up a book and read. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And yeah, I will see you in another one. God bless you. I love you. Bye.